Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a special focus on the top three new one penny small size coins. We'll explore their value, history, and unique details that make these coins so interesting. Let's get started. 1984 New One Penny The 1984 New One Penny coin is part of the British decimal coinage system, which was introduced in 1971. This system replaced the old pounds, shillings, and pence system, simplifying currency in the United Kingdom. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning current monarch, has been featured on UK coins since her coronation in 1953. The 1984 penny is a testament to her enduring legacy and the continuity of British currency. The obverse of the 1984 one penny coin showcases the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. This iconic image captures the Queen wearing the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. On the reverse, we see the crowned portcullis with chains, an emblem of the Palace of Westminster. This design, created by Christopher Ironside, symbolizes Britain's parliamentary democracy. Here are some quick specifications of the 1984 one penny coin. Diameter 20.32 mm. Weight 3.56 grams. Metal composition bronze 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, 0.5% tin. Edge plane. The 1984 one penny coin, while common in circulation, holds a special place for collectors. Its value depends on the coin's condition, rarity, and demand. In average circulated condition, the 1984 penny is worth around its face value. However, uncirculated or proof coins can fetch higher prices. An uncirculated 1984 penny can be valued between PS1 to PS5, while proof versions, often sold in sets, may reach up to PS10 or more. Did you know? The 1984 penny is part of a series that includes special proof sets issued for collectors. Additionally, some coins from this era are found in brilliant uncirculated condition, making them highly sought after by enthusiasts. Also, it's interesting to note that the bronze composition of these coins was changed to copper-plated steel in 1992, making pre-1992 pennies, like the 1984 version, a bit more unique. 1975 New One Penny The 1975 New One Penny coin is a part of the decimal coinage that the United Kingdom introduced in 1971. This transition marked the end of the old system, where 12 pence made a shilling and 20 shillings made a pound. The move to decimalization was a significant event in British history. It simplified the currency and made it more understandable, especially for international transactions. The 1P coin was one of the new denominations introduced, and it quickly became a staple in everyday transactions. The 1975 one penny coin is made of bronze and weighs 3.56 grams, with a diameter of 20.32 millimeters. On the obverse side, you'll find the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. This portrait was used on British coins from 1968 to 1984. Notice the detailed craftsmanship in Machine's design. The inscription around the portrait reads Elizabeth II DG, Reg, FD 1975, which stands for Elizabeth II Di Gratia Regina Fididi Vincitrix, meaning Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. On the reverse side, we have a depiction of a crowned portcullis with chains, which is the badge of Henry VII and a symbol of the British Parliament. This design was created by Christopher Ironside and has been a constant feature on the penny since its introduction. So, what's the value of this little piece of history today? While the face value of the coin remains one penny, its value to collectors can be slightly higher. Most 1975 one penny coins are relatively common, so they won't fetch a high price. However, their value can range from a few pence to around a pound, depending on their condition. The key factors that affect a coin's value are its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Coins in uncirculated or mint condition are worth more. A coin graded as fine might only be worth its face value, while one in uncirculated condition could be valued higher. For those of you interested in collecting, the 1975 one penny is a great starting point. It's a piece of history that you can hold in your hand, and it's relatively easy to find. Plus, it gives you a glimpse into the era of decimalization and the artistry of British coinage. 1989 New One Penny The 1989 New One Penny Elizabeth coin 
is a small yet significant piece in the history of British currency. This coin is part of the third series of decimal coins introduced after the decimalization of British currency in 1971. But what makes this particular penny so interesting? Let's find out. First, let's talk a bit about the history. Decimalization was a major change for the UK, shifting from the old pounds, shillings, and pence system to a straightforward system where one pound equals 100 pence. The new one penny coin was initially introduced in 1971, but in 1982, the coin's composition changed to copper-plated steel due to rising copper prices. By 1989, the penny coin was firmly established in its new, smaller size and composition. The 1989 penny features the familiar portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side, designed by Raphael Makloff. This third portrait of the Queen was used from 1985 to 1997. She is depicted wearing the George IV state diadem, a royal symbol seen on many British coins. Obverse Design Queen Elizabeth II by Raphael Makloff. On the reverse, you'll find a crowned portcullis with chains, a design by Christopher Ironside. This iconic image is derived from the badge of Henry VII, which is now the emblem of the Palace of Westminster. It symbolizes the British Parliament. Reverse Design Crown Porcullis by Christopher Ironside. Now, let's talk about value. The 1989 one penny coin is not particularly rare in circulation, but its value can vary depending on its condition. For everyday circulated coins, the value is typically around one penny, its face value. However, uncirculated or proof versions of this coin, especially those preserved in mint condition, can be worth more to collectors. These might fetch anywhere from a few pence to several pounds, depending on their condition and demand among collectors. Here, I have a few examples. This circulated coin has seen better days and is worth its face value. However, this uncirculated penny in mint condition could be worth more. And if you have a proof version, like this one, it can be even more valuable often found in commemorative sets. If you're a collector looking to add the 1989 one penny coin to your collection, here are a few tips. Check for mint condition. Always look for coins that are uncirculated or in proof condition. Storage store your coins properly in a cool, dry place to prevent tarnishing or damage. Stay informed about market trends and values, as coin prices can fluctuate over time. That's all for today's deep dive into the 1989 new one penny Elizabeth coin. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Coin Chronicles for more numismatic insights, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and happy.